Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Last surviving Doolittle Raider flies aboard That's All Brother. Sharefly Hybrid Electric Man Multicopter enters FAA certification process. And California Capital Air Show announces night show and concert. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's June 13th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The CAF C-47 transport airplane, that's all brother, is a pretty special airplane. It has the distinction of being the first aircraft to cross into Europe on D-Day. Last week, the airplane had a pretty special passenger. Dick Cole, who is the last surviving person who flew the famous Doolittle raid over Tokyo in 1942, was aboard as the CAF commemorated the anniversary of the D-Day invasion. Cole was Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle's co-pilot in a B-25 bomber that flew off the deck of an aircraft carrier and did it with the crews belt out of the aircraft during a thunderstorm at night. He was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for his role in the raid. Cole went on to fly cargo planes in China for 14 months. The CAF found the historic airplane in Wisconsin in an aircraft boneyard. Vassal Brother was purchased for $35,000 and restored to flying condition over three years. The commemorative Air Force plans to take the C-47 to France next year for the 75th anniversary of D-Day and is currently in the process of raising money to make that trip a reality. After the break, Airbus Beluga XL passes ground vibration test. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Joan Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The first Beluga XL has passed the ground vibration test, a requirement for certification of the aircraft that paves the way towards its maiden flight in summer 2018. The objective of this test is to measure the dynamic behavior of the aircraft and confirm theoretical models of various flight conditions, such as maneuvering, flying against the conditions, and landing. This test data also helps clear the aircraft's flight envelope. ACR Electronics has confirmed that Drew Marine UK Holdings has acquired Flight Data Systems, a provider of flight data recorders, ground support equipment, and electronics manufacturing for the global aviation industry. Flight Data Systems will report into ACR Electronics Incorporated. Draken International has been awarded the $280 million Adversary Air 2 contract to provide adversary air services at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada through December 2023. Adversary Air, or Red Air, is training that simulates real-world threat scenarios. As the sole provider of the adversary support for the USAF, Draken's team of pilots fly the company's advanced fighter aircraft to simulate non-Western tactics against USAF assets. Harris Corporation has provided Lockheed Martin with its fifth of 10 advanced navigation payloads contracted for the U.S. Air Force GPS-3 satellite program. The GPS-3 navigation payload features a mission data unit with a unique 70% digital design that links automatic clocks, radiation-hardened computers, and powerful transmitters, enabling signals three times more accurate than those on current GPS satellites. 
Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The FAA has accepted an application for a type certificate from Workhorse Group for the Surefly EVTOL aircraft. The Surefly design appears to be the first hybrid electric EVTOL multi-copter to reach this milestone with the FAA. Surefly has been designed to be easy to operate, safe to fly, and expected to be moderately priced relative to a conventional helicopter. Surefly has eight electrically driven props that are powered via a piston or turbine-based generator. The craft also has a small lithium battery that is designed to power the motors for a safe descent and landing in the event that the generator fails while in flight. The Surefly design also has a ballistic parachute. The Surefly system features a fly-by-wire control system that enables single joystick control. The carbon fiber fuselage and large front windshield also land a level of comfort and safety for the pilot and passenger. The Surefly can accommodate a pilot and a passenger or a pilot and cargo for a wide variety of applications. Because the FAA is not certificated in an aircraft like Surefly before, and because this is truly a first-of-its-kind design, much of the FAA's regulatory certification framework does not apply to Surefly. So Workhorse Group is working closely with top experts in the field to develop new certification requirements. After these messages, California Capital Air Show announces night show and concert. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. The California Capital Air Show has announced details for its planned air show after dark. A nighttime extravaganza of flying fireworks and music amid aviation-themed festival atmosphere of family fun and entertainment. The evening, which begins at 5 p.m. on Friday, September 21st, commemorates Mathers Airport's 100th birthday and includes the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds headlined air shows on September 22nd and 23rd. The weekend air show offers a lineup that promises to keep audience on the edge of their seats. Spectators can look forward to exhilarating performances from the Air Force Heritage Flight featuring the F-35 Lightning II, the internationally acclaimed U.S. Army Golden Knights Parachute Team, Canadian Forces CF-18 Hornet, and an awe-inspiring lineup of world-class civilian aerobatic performers. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.